this is not really, this is a medical device. This is about physics. So when this energy passes, and we're talking about two things, we'll talk about blood and then we'll talk about cells. When this energy passes on red blood cells, it changes, changes the, the negative charge on red blood cell and causes them to repel. When they repel, they more surface area is exposed. More surface area means more oxygen carried. More oxygen carried to your through your capillary beds just means cell health, better cell gener regeneration. All that the technology does is helping your body do what it's designed to do. L'hiver dernier, je me suis mis à chercher des moyens concrets de soutenir mon énergie parce que je me sentais plus fatiguée qu'à la normale. Et quelqu'un m'a parlé du bracelet de performance CM2 que je porte présentement. C'est un produit auquel j'ai décidé de m'associer en juin, donc plusieurs mois après l'avoir essayé et fait essayer à mon entourage parce que j'ai été convaincue, j'ai vraiment vu les résultats. Oui, mon énergie était meilleure, mais aussi un meilleur sommeil et des douleurs qui disparaissaient quand je le portais. J'ai vu les résultats vraiment très, très flagrant sur ma mère qui a des problèmes de douleur chronique au dos et qui maintenant ne peut plus s'en passer. Mais je me suis fait critiquer par des gens qui me disaient que je m'étais associée à un produit bidon, que c'était l'effet placebo, etc. J'ai donc décidé de parler avec un des inventeurs de la technologie, il s'appelle Dale Gledhill. Qui de mieux placé pour venir nous expliquer comment ça fonctionne, la science qui supporte cette technologie et vraiment répondre à toutes les questions qu'on peut se poser. Si vous êtes intrigué, que vous avez envie d'essayer ce bracelet, vous pouvez le trouver dans ma boutique au www.helloveussavoir.com. Et ce qui est formidable, moi, c'est ce qui m'a convaincu de l'essayer, c'est qu'il y a une garantie de satisfaction de 30 jours. Donc, si vous n'êtes pas convaincu après 30 jours, vous pouvez vous faire rembourser. Alors, à vous d'en juger, à vous de vous faire votre propre tête sur ce produit. Mais moi, personnellement, Finalement, j'ai été convaincue. Et s'il peut vous apporter du bien à vous aussi, ben tant mieux. Je ne fais que propager du bien. Et c'est ce que je cherche à faire avec ma chaîne. Bonne écoute. Tonight, I'm having Dale Gledhill. Hi, Dale. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, I think it's going to be very interesting uh, conversation. You are one of the inventors of this little thing. This is called, the, in English, they call it the CM2 band. I would like you to explain... How did you come up with this idea? What's the origin of the product? So uh, it's really interesting. My, I'm a product developer by trade, by background. I've been doing this my entire career. But about 10 years ago, two medical doctors came to me and they said, we're using this technology to fuse bones, like if for some, someone's diabetic or if they smoke, a lot of times bones won't heal or fuse. And when we use this technology, we find that on the peripheral or outside of where we're using this technology, that... Um, The tissue is so healthy. We think it could treat osteoporosis. I'm looking at two doctors like, are you guys crazy? I want to preface this for, for everybody. I've been developing products my entire career. This is the only project I've ever worked on that gets better the deeper it gets. Usually the deeper you get, you start uncovering flaws and things. So we started looking at, and so it's so unusual to find a project like this. What we started finding on this project is when they were using this product called the bone stem, there was this an energy burst that was called the troidal field. This little, if, if you all remember back to your grade school days, looking at picture of the earth, the magnetic fields go North Pole to South Pole like this, like this. And and most of this energy goes off actually into infinity, infinity, but some of it is broadcast North to South Pole. And that's what was happening outside the device. And we determined through research that if we could capture that, that it may have effect on what they're trying to achieve was osteoporosis. And in the beginning stage, that's all we were focused on is osteoporosis. And we, the first one was this big, huge blanket we rolled out. And sure enough, um, some of the people, the doctor were, were testing, doing their yearly DEXA scans, were laying down more bone mass. But, and then we, then we said, hey, we can make it smaller. Maybe there's easier applications for it. But as we started, at least made different devices using the technology different ways, we, people started coming out of the woodwork saying, hey, I want to tell you, we use this for my son's ankle and he plays soccer or football and in like three days, his ankle healed. And then someone said, hey, um, I don't know what's going on here, but my mother's been on oxygen. All of a sudden, she's her oxygen levels are, are raised so high. So all these things, never were looking for that. This is all about osteoporosis. But we started learning this technology was boosting or affecting cell health. Fast forward now 10 years, what we learned is that all these conditions, everybody, the holy grail is everybody's looking for cell health or cell regeneration. Mm -hmm. And that's what the technology of, we need to talk about energy. 
of the cell. And as you look at me, a human body, you see me, and then you see organs, and then there's, if you don't see it, then there's cells, and then there's molecules, and then there's atoms. And outside of that, that's it. And atoms are energy. Mm -hmm. So when people, you know, in the beginning, like I was like, are you kidding me, doctors? But now the deeper I get, you realize that everything's electrical. I mean, what's a defibrillator? That's energy to the heart to get a heart restarted again. What what helps validate that it's real is we didn't we're where not where we ended up where we wanted to be. Mm -hmm. Those people have a, a a hypothesis and then do everything they can to prove it. Where we ended up is not what we tried to prove. Where we ended up is it's amazing technology that can help help everybody. And so what's the science behind this technology? Because I got a lot of people questioning the benefits and saying this was all placebo effect and this was just a gadget. So can you talk about the actual science behind it? Sure. So so there's no question that energy can affect cells. That's a fact. And when we started looking at blood, we started, you know, me personally, I've looked at over a thousand people's blood before our technology and after we started looking at red blood cells because that's the only way we can affect oxygen to the body. So it in most people's blood, when you look at it, it looks like a stack of coins. And when you look at um, and I've looked at some children's blood before at the behest of their parents they wanted to. And when you look at children's blood, it looks like you took Cheerios from a handful and just dropped them on the floor scattered. They're perfectly surrounded in the plasma. And 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 when people would use the technology, we would get blood looking more like that. And that's what's considered even the hematology, but that's what blood should look like. And so this is not really, this isn't a medical device. This is about physics. So when this energy passes, and we're talking about two things, we'll talk about blood and then we'll talk about cells. When this energy passes on red blood cells, it changes changes the, the negative charge in blood blood cell and causes them to repel. When they repel, they more surface area is exposed. More surface area means more oxygen carried. More oxygen carried to your through your capillary beds just means cell health, better cell gener regeneration. All that the technology does is helping your body do what it's designed to do. There's no magic here. Just like you would for a plant. If you can boost the nutrition for a plant and sunlight, you get massive growth. Just like in combustion engine on a car, you can put the best petroleum in an automobile, but if you have a dirty air cleaner, not good oxygen, the performance is hampered. The human body is very similar to that. This technology helps boost the natural human processes. There's nothing beyond what the body can do, right? Absolutely. Anybody said that, but nothing, nothing beyond that. What are the actual benefits that you can get from this technology? You talked about blood, but what does it mean? If I start using it, what are the benefits I can observe? The highest percentage of people that use the band say they feel they have more energy. That's that's exactly just, what happened to me. Especially like in the afternoons when you when you really lag off, you'll feel you find you have a lot more energy. Um, about five years ago, we did a study with 50 top athletes where we, were, where we were able to look at their blood before, and then we gave them one of these bands, and these students had no clue what the band was for. They weren't they weren't told, and these were the students in the soccer, in track, in basketball, in soccer, top 50 athletes. Two weeks later, they came back and. We did another blood test and I have all those results and you can see before and after. But more importantly, on the exit interview, we asked, did you notice any benefits from this technology? And the two benefits that came back, one was talking about more energy, but surprising at that point, at least 30, I think it was like 73% of the students said, I cannot believe how much better I slept. And several students said, I've never dreamt before and I've had dreams like I've never had before. Wow. And, and we know, we, and we know that, um, you know, the best time for your body to regenerate is in REM sleep or deeper, right? Yeah. That's if you, you can do everything right, but if you don't have good sleep, your body has no chance to repair. So, so what would it do for me? What would it do? This is just helping your body do what it can do normally. I I have scoliosis, and sometimes I have, I I sort of jam in my back. And I went for a bike ride, came back the, at night, and I was very uncomfortable in my back. But at that moment, it was new in my life, and I didn't have the reflex to wear it. Went to bed, didn't sleep very well because I had a lot of pain. Next morning, I thought, I'm going to wear it, and we'll see. And one hour after, pain was completely gone. 
So, and I've, I've had a lot of testimonies like that. People see the pain just go away. How do you explain that? If you have better blood flow, and when I say better blood flow, going back to when I talked about cell separating, you know, if you think about your capillary beds, which are in your organs and your uttermost parts of your body, they're the diameter of one red blood blood cell. When you get red blood cells separated, you're feeding all those deep capillary beds. Not only are you feeding them, but you're removing CO2 out, right? Part of this whole process is good in, bad out, CO2 out. So if if you have your lymph system more active and if you have your circulatory system more active, your repair just boosts, speeds up. And mm -hmm. it, once again, it's your body doing it, not the technology, your body doing it. It's more about physics, applying physics principles to your body to help your body do what it, what it can do. Right. I've had people here on my podcast who were electrosensitive and we talked yeah. about uh you know bad frequencies like 5d or wi-fi bluetooth so what's the difference between this frequency and the harmful frequencies the the, the energy coming off band is very low intensity they're always under and, and that's measured in hertz and it's always sub 100 hertz and that's those are all all frequencies that actually normal parts of your body gives off. Your heart gives off a body, uh, hurts. The earth does. Your organs, every earth, and every one of those are within that safe range. It's just safe. And it's kind of like if you go to an energy, like a, a electrical line, body, it's producing energy, of, you know, upwards of a million times that powerful. It's it's not, you know, it's not even in the same question. People think all energy is the same. It's not. It's like water. Drinking from water is safe. Drinking from a fire hose is not safe, you know, and that's really similar to that. And and it, you don't need very much energy because remember in the beginning we talked about nudging atoms. Atoms don't take very much energy to nudge, and so it's just it's uh, more is not better when it comes to energy. Just mm -hmm. enough to add to nudge the cells is perfect. Any under 100, 100 hertz is considered safe for the human body. Um, but I would I would probably argue that some you know, telecom companies will say that the uh, Wi-Fi is not harmful, but I mean, there is more and more science to prove that we can be really affected by it. Some some doctors and scientists will claim that those who say that are sensitive to those frequencies, are uh, it's only placebo and it is um, it is not true. It's in their heads, but I don't believe that. And I observe myself that I have some symptoms when I'm exposed for a too long period to my computer or to my Bluetooth or speaking on my phone. Um, so what do you think of that? Do you, do you think that we are affected by, you know, 5G and Wi-Fi and all these frequencies? Do you think that the human body is affected by it? I do. You know, um, a lot of science is scoffed at or made fun of for about a year. I mean, the gentleman in the 1800s finally said that, hey, Maybe we should wash our hands after doing an autopsy before we deliver a baby it might save lives. It took 20 years for that adoption. Oof. And he was labeled, he was like kicked out of the medical site because they said he was crazy. So just because someone, you know, talks about it doesn't mean it's wrong. And that's like, for example, um, you know, the Tour de France a few years ago, the, a lot of the racers now are using what's called grounding. And I'm not sure... You know, everybody made fun of it. Now it's gaining more and more traction. And they think because we are absorbing so much energy and grounding is really just, you can do it chiefly by just taking off your shoes and walking on the dirt and sand. And I'll tell you a story that happened about seven, eight years ago that changed my perspective. I was in the lab and someone from Florida brought a guest in and this person, um, um, they, they call us an energy healer. And and I, I'm not I'm not really familiar with that space. This person sat in our lab and she said, I can tell when the band comes on. And I frankly just like, uh, okay. She she said, watch, I'll turn around. She turned around the, in the office. I waited, waited, turned the band on. And she could tell me exactly at 10 feet when I turned my band, or not 10 feet, like five feet when I turned my band on. Now, when I say, when you said some people are more sensitive than others, I for sure learned that day that we're all different. Let, let's go back to the beginning. So the only person that can heal Dale is Dale. True. So let's start with that premise right there. So, and the only way you can heal is when cells have enough energy 
to perform their desired task, right? I think no one can do, no one can disagree with that. Mm-hmm. Cells produce energy by really combining basically a glucose molecule and an oxygen molecule. And there's multiple studies show more boosted oxygen means more cell energy, more cell energy to perform its task and also more cell energy to kill healthy cells called apoptosis. Because this is, we also want cells dying off because that triggers the body to say build new cells, right? Mm-hmm. Cells that don't die off become cancer. Anything that you do that can boost oxygen delivery throughout the body to boost the power of cells, it's a win. Some people ask me, uh, can you wear it too much? Could it be dangerous to be wearing it 24-7? Is it good to take some breaks? No, there's there's no issue wearing it too much. And, you know, cells are also like batteries, you know. There's no such thing as charging my cell phone to, uh, you know, 110%. It charges to 100%. Yeah. And, you know, funny thing, if I have my cell phone here, if I told you 10 years ago that I could stick my phone on a pad and it would charge without a cord to it, you would have laughed at me. But now we learned that you can charge wirelessly, right? True. And that's called Coulomb's Law. When you pulse an energy, it's a science like Coulomb's Law. An energy, if there's something to receive, it'll absorb that energy. And that's very similar in the band. It pulls just how your cell phone charges. It makes it really helps it people easy to understand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been associated with the band for three months and I've had people telling me they felt uh, benefits The moment they started wearing it, and I've had other people writing me saying, I'm a little disappointed. I expected something more dramatic, and I don't see the effects I was expecting. How do you explain that some people feel the full benefits right away, and that for some other people, it takes more time? Great question. Cell health is a slow process, like building homes with brick. But cell health is actually going after the causes. So when people say, oh, I thought I'd have some something happen right away. Sometimes that does happen, but it's also like if I if I don't have a headache, and for example, I take ibuprofen, I'm not going to feel one thing different. Mm-hmm. But if I had a headache, it'll for sure knock it, knock, take the edge off. So I'll feel something different. So just because you don't feel something, it makes it doesn't mean that it's not affecting your body. We you know, I think if you understand how cell energy is generated with oxygen, good nutrition, et cetera, that, that it, it makes sense to wear. It might take time. And we don't know, you know, the body will pick and choose what it repairs. I'll tell you, my whole life grew up with allergies in the spring, bad allergies. And um, that's auto, you know, allergies are part of autoimmune disease, right? It's part of a disorder. Your body's attacking itself. There's no reason for it. But With two years after wearing a band, I haven't had an allergy pill in eight years. Wait, how long after you started using the band? Two years. Two years. It's, it's, so it, it doesn't mean that, our, you know, there's no explanation. You don't have allergies for 50 years and all of a sudden they go away in one day. Mm-hmm. But it's so, but your body will pick and choose what it can heal. Yeah. And so... Somehow, the only change in my life is I've used this technology more than anybody, and that's my story. I will not say that's going to do it for you or anybody else, but that's my story. But mm-hmm. it'll pick and choose. But just because you don't feel something doesn't mean your body's, even if you're maintaining, not going backward, it's a win. It's a bonus. So if, if I'm delivering more oxygen to your, where, wherever, your eyes, your organs, your fingers, it doesn't make any sense if to not boost it with good nutrition. Mm-hmm. And it's, if you can do it all by eating, that's fantastic. But it's super difficult to do that now because of the way the food source. Farmers just get one crop a year out of a field, two if they're lucky. But now they have genetically modified seeds where they get four and five crops, which it's, the, the nutritional value is not where it used to be. Nothing we can do about that unless you grow your own food. And the, even seeds are gen- genetically modified. So I boost. I use supplements. I'm not here to sell supplements, but I use supplements because I know it's difficult to, to reach that level just with just the food I eat. Thank you so much for your time. It was really interesting, and I'm looking forward to uh, to meet you maybe in person soon. 